what's going on YouTube uh, not a fishing video today but uh, a jig time video uh, if you got black crappie in your lake uh, everybody knows that can be finicky at times I'm gonna tie a jig that uh that, that I tie and it a lot of times it's successful uh, basically I, I I use just a squirrel tail uh, story behind that this past winter when or the winter before last they were eating my garden hoses in my yard so I declared war on them with a 22 and I was like well what I'm gonna do with the tails I was like I could probably incorporate it and tie in some jigs so here we go anyway it's gonna have a squirrel tail and then this I don't know if you can see that black and silver chanel from barlow's tackle it's a size two all right so the first thing you want to do is lay you down a thread base now what i'll do is i'll come down the shaft wrapping it tight till i get just past the point of the hook and i'll come back all the way back to the head of the jig all right so you're gonna have a little tag in, you wanna cut it. Next thing you wanna do is you'll select the amount of tail you want. Well, in this case, the tail is gonna be a squirrel tail. So I'll take it and pinch me off a little bit of it. I'm gonna cut it. Then I'm gonna tie that into my jig. Just lay it up there on top. And if you'll get it started here at the base, it'll help you work the rest of the way out. And you're gonna go all the way wrapping it to where you lay your, lay your thread base in the beginning on the shank of the hook. All right, so you can see there, got the tail started. Different people do this part differently. I just take a piece of Chanel. I don't wanna fight with this bag the whole time. So I'll just cut me off a piece and I'll be able to tie several jigs out of this one piece. So I lay it down. Gonna go wrap all the way till we stop where we stopped before and then come back to the head. All right, if you got a rotary device like this one, this Pete rotary device is one of the nice ones you can buy. You can lay your thread over the side like this and you get ready to roll your Chanel all you gotta do is just come over here to the side and start rolling that Chanel on there, making that body. Well, a lot of people will go back and forth. I just build my body up as I go until I get it about the size I want. Coming all the way to that head. All right. So I'm, I'm where I wanna be. I'm gonna do one, two, wraps around that chanel i'm gonna cinch it down on the side and i'm gonna do me three wraps back around then at this point you can cut that chanel and you're ready to whip finish just a whip finisher we're gonna do one two three tie a knot One, two, three, tie a knot. One, two, three, tie a knot. Now, if somebody likes this, now at this point, you're done with the jig, unless you want to put a little super glue on the knot. Unless you're going to be banging them off boat houses a lot, they'll hold together fine just fishing regular stumps and stuff without putting the super glue on there. But you can put some, a little dab of super glue right there on the knot. Here's the finished product. That is a excellent bait. Something about that squirrel tail, how it breaks up into different colors and makes it wide at the tip. I have a lot of good luck with it on black crappie. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you wanna see some more on some jig time, leave me, leave me a message. Uh, I don't know if I can show anybody how to whip finish because it took me a, a while to learn how to do that. But uh, that's why you tie a hair jig.